And good morning to you on this Saturday. I'm Lynn Smith, and thank you for spending part of your day with us here on Weekend Express. Developing this morning, new accusations from President Donald Trump. In other headlines, the Homeland Security Department is now considering a proposal that would separate children from adults trying to enter the U.S. illegally. Has been made during his campaign, President Trump promised to keep families together when they cross the border illegally. There are rallies going on in dozens of cities and towns all across the country today in support of President Trump. Or there is a big recall we want to tell you about. It's sending some children to the hospital. So be sure, check your pantry. It's for a mother caught in the middle of a drive-by shooting. She has her two children in the back seat of this car. Watch. Parents, two. stuffed animals. They could be spying on you. Your children's. It's just one of the stories on Jen Westhoven's watch list this week. Jen, what are we talking about here? We're talking about these stuffed toys that not only do they... Must not be the only type of pet or, or stuffed right. animal that has this technology. So what about other toys that may right. have this? I mean, we just heard about the Kayla doll that German officials said that you should destroy. I don't know. I'm a little bit wary about buying these for my kids right now. And I almost think, like, if a grandma gives it to you or something, maybe it should... Because Chinese these consumers want that. All right, they say they're going to keep their high sense of fashion, but cut their price. There you go. Also, a toy rattle recall that you're you're talking about. Yeah, and I think this is a really common toy recall for babies. So if you've got this, look out for them and get them out of baby's hands. Jen, thank you so much. And welcome back to Weekend Express. At half past the hour, the big story today, new questions about meetings between Trump administration officials and the Russians. But first things first, as a rocky sweet, that does it for us today here at Weekend Express. We hope to see you back here tomorrow morning starting at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Up next, Forensic Files. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Take care. And good morning to you on this Sunday. I'm Lynn Smith, and thank you for spending part of your day with us here on Weekend Express. The office of former President Barack Obama is now responding to accusations that he ordered wiretaps on President Trump before the November election. Yesterday, President Lindsey Graham got right to these wiretapping allegations at a town hall in Clemson, South Carolina. This was yesterday. Rallies across the country yesterday to show support for President Trump. Well, I did a rod trail. Sled dog race is getting under here. Have you done your taxes? The IRS deadline this year is April 18th. So you have about six weeks to make sure everything is done right. And money expert Ted Jenkins is here from Oxford. Really costly. Thank you for joining us. Saving money, always important. And the first one applies to anyone who's been employed at more than one place. What's the mistake and what's the solution? Well, if it's money in the stock market. Well, always nice to make money in the stock. Low tax to make it easier. Do you have to worry about the accuracy, though? I think TurboTax actually guarantees us. Extensions? How yeah, important oh, is that? De de definitely. If you're on the deadline, you do want to file an extension. But here's the problem. Yeah, and you say one big mistake is not filing for the appropriate deductions. What do you think there's a, a good last-minute deduction? Angel, thank you so much for joining yes. us. Well, President George, thanks for being with us. You know, these days a lot of people are using their home as a home office. And specifically, you have to be careful about how you deduct those kinds of things, right? Well, this is still one of the dreaded red flags is the home. Oftentimes it starts out as a hobby or something like that. Can you deduct items related to that? Well, you can deduct. Take for unreimbursed business expenses. For example, how do we prove that we use our car so much for business more so than personal? Well, being too charitable, and this is separate from the action of, of char charity, but, you know, we can also take deductions for that. Yeah, if you have non-cash, red flag. And you have a last tip to avoid an audit when it comes to deductions. sense here and there. All right, <laughs> Ted right. Jenkins from Oxford. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Lynn Smith, and welcome back to Weekend Express. At half past the hour, the big story today, President Trump's accusation that President Obama wiretapped his phones ahead of the 2016 election. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first things first, President Trump could sign an updated travel ban tomorrow. He was scheduled to sign the order last Wednesday. That was pushed back after his joint address to Congress. Sources tell CNN that several advisors want Iraq moved from the list of banned countries. At least 110 people have died from starvation and drought-related illness. This is in Somalia. This was just in the past 48 hours alone. Most of these victims are women and children. And families, well, being overweight could put you more at risk for 11 different types of cancer. Medical news for you to know. Colon cancer rates seem to be increasing.
for people born in the 90s and decreasing for people in their 50s. Those results are from two separate new studies. So I want to bring in OBGYN Dr. Sujatha Reddy to provide some insight on this. Thank you for being Thank with you. us. This seems actually the complete opposite of what we always heard. What, what do you make of these studies? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. And what we found was that for people over 50, an increase, and that is opposite what you might expect. Yeah, and so what do you think maybe some of the causes of that might be? Yeah, no one really knows. We do know risk factors for colon cancer are and young people and frankly older people do to prevent colon cancer. Yeah, that's best question, bottom line. The best thing to do for that group, we do early screenings. Yeah, and most importantly, not to think just because I'm 20, just because I'm 30 doesn't mean I have to, can't go get a colonoscopy. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Reddy. It's always great to have you. Well, Andy Schultz here at Weekend Express. Thanks for spending some of your weekend with us. And be sure to come back tomorrow morning for Morning Express with Robin Mead starting at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Up next, how it really happened. Hope you have a great rest of the day. See you back here next time. Take care.